Come on, Mom. I do hope that you didn't mind that we had to go over my ideas here at the hotel. Oh, not at all. Oh, good. You see, it's just, well, I don't want my husband walking in on us. I really want all of this to be, um, well, a surprise. <laughs> we understand, Mrs. Quarterman. Good, good. Well, I also hope you understand that I want this house to be the most elegant and sophisticated and beautiful house in Port Charles. You know, fit for a Quartermain. Mm -hmm. And, of course, a little Quartermain oh. air. <laughs> well, all your choices have been exquisite so far, Mrs. Oh. Quartermain. Simple, but stylish. Sedate, but playful. <laughs> oh, and the pagoda shaped balances are just too divine. Oh, thank you so much. Now, I do hope you keep in mind I need this done by Christmas. Yes? <laughs> Absolutely. Good, good. You know, I really had no idea how much time it takes to decorate a house like this. Mm. Uh, and money? We will uh, need a deposit for the materials. Mm -hmm. Oh, naturally. <laughs> well, I just so happen to have three checks here that I am sure will cover your, um, immediate expenses. Mm. There you are. This is dated December 1st. Oh, I know. I know. It's the bank. You know, they, they really did beg us to wait and transfer our funds from one account into our regular account a little bit after the weekend. And so, of course, what could we do, you know? I think it was something about uh, money fluctuations. You understand, of course. Um, good, good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's that guy with the video camera. Listen, come here. Cover me. Cover me. I don't want him to see me. Come Who on. He? Come on. He's, a, he's this guy that works at this tabloid thing, you know? And he's... Cover me! Yeah, I... I want to leave a message for Edge. Tell him Scott Baldwin called. That's right. Good. Thank you. Goodbye. Edge's not the hotel. Great. Mister, I'm keeping close tabs on Edge, eh? Well, I can't watch the kid 24 hours a day. Why not, Scott? Cassandra does. Well, she works for this smut sheet here, you know? They get paid to spy on people. Oh. What do I pay you for? My sparkling personality. Whatever it costs, it's definitely not hey, worth hey, hey, it. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Don't take it out on me, Tracy, okay? Your son is the one that started all this trouble. He got in a fight with Edge. No, I'll tell you whose fault it is. His little darling ex-wife, Dawn the Ding Dong. Well, whatever, okay? There's been no harm done. Relax. No harm done? What if Lucy reads this? What if she does? She couldn't pick Edge out in a crowd of one. No, but she knows who Ned is. And what if she decides to go snooping? Stop worrying, Tracy. What if she figures out that Edge is Jerome's heir? She won't. You know, you were supposed to keep this guy under wraps, right? So far, the only two people in all of Port Charles that haven't met him are me and Lucy. Well, November 30th is two days away, okay? Two. Count them up. Yeah, well, a lot can happen in two days. Yeah, the only thing that's going to happen is Lucy's not going to get the diamonds. And let me tell you something. I have been dreaming about the look on her face for days now. Have you? Your speech. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Aren't you? Not as much as you, apparently. This wouldn't be a little plot for you to win her back, would it? Are you crazy? Who'd want her? She's a used piece of goods. You did, once. Oh, come on, Tracy. Would I go to all this trouble to get the diamonds away from her if I wanted to win her back? No, but then again, if she loses the diamonds, she'll be in a very vulnerable position. Yeah, well, especially with all the work she's doing up at that mansion, she'd sort of be up the creek without a credit card. <laughs> Just right for Sir Scott to come riding in on a white charger and rescue her, huh? Your imagination is, is just running away with you, okay? I'm gonna tell you something. I don't care that about what's her name. And your life won't be worth that. If you double cross me, now you find Edge and you find him fast. Miss Quartermain. Um, excuse me. Listen, you, I really have absolutely nothing to say to the press. I'm not with the press. That's what they all say. Excuse me. Scott Baldwin. <clears throat> it's about Scott Baldwin. Oh, uh, what about him? Well, I saw you in his office the other day, and I figured you guys were friends, and I'm trying to track him down. Could so you I just wait you... one second? Uh, would you pardon me? I'll, I'll meet you in the restaurant. I'll, I'll be right in. Okay, so sorry. Thank you. Keep those ideas coming. <laughs> All right. Um, 
What is it you want to know, Mr. Um... Edge. Just Edge. Mr. Edge. Well, can you tell me where I can find him? Tell me, Mr. Edge. Are, are you a client of his? Miss Quarterman, I, I'm really in a hurry. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Do you know where I can find him? Well, no, not exactly. But, you know, I really do tend to run into him um, almost every day. Why don't I give him a message from you? On second thought, I'll wait. But you're the one that wanted uh, to know. Thank you're you, the Ms. one that just Quartermain. stopped Bye. me. All right. Well, this one should improve your memory. Not really. Listen, bud, that is all you're going to get. Now, did you see them together or not? Well, now that you mention it, I have seen that Edge guy and what's his name? A guy, you know, kind of a weird haircut, blonde, sleazy Scott Baldwin. That's it. That's it. I see them together a lot. You do. I knew it. All right, listen. Um, if you keep your eyes open, there is a lot more where this came from. Do you understand? Thank you. Scott the wrong way to get my hands on you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna make this out of you. I... Oh, well, 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 Tony. Hello there. You know, it's funny. I, I almost didn't recognize you without your wife and your little kitties in tow. But of course, I guess that is sort of become the norm lately, hasn't it? Bobby Liss. You know, a little bird told me, Tony, that on Thanksgiving you spent all by your little lonesome with the homeless. Is that sort of getting to be a, a future prediction for you, is it? <laughs> Tony, hi. Mm, hi. So where are we going to go? Delafields? Uh, Tony, I'll explain Tony, to you later. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? No. Uh -huh. General Hospital will continue in a moment. it's time I talk to Edge. That's not necessary. I think it is. We need to talk strategy. Strategy? What? What strategy? If Lucy is the wild card you say she is, we need to bring Edge up to speed so nothing goes wrong. Tracy, I am in constant communication. I repeat, constant communication. There is no need for you to be involved. No need or no want? No reason. Come on. I am looking out for your well-being. Gee, I get goosebumps every time you say something like that. Do you really? Uh-huh. Big, fat, juicy goosebumps that scream, warning, Scott Baldwin only looks out for himself. You really hurt me. You really make me suspicious. Edge is a Jerome, right? Gee, Scott. Right. Well... Who knows more about the Jeromes than me? And I'm telling you that the, the, the better distance you keep, the safer you'll be. It's Lucy's distance that I'm worried about. I am in constant communication. I repeat, Tracy, constant communication. Chip? Excuse me, Mr. Baldwin? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I have these phone messages for you. They were brought over by Mr. Ashton's secretary, and apparently somehow they ended up on Mr. Ashton's desk. Let me see these. Thank you, Glenn. Oh, Edge. 9.30. Edge! 10.15. Edge, 11.30. Edge, 12.30. You're in constant communication with him? I told you I tried to get him at the hotel. I couldn't get him. Well, maybe it's time I called him. No, you can't do that. The Montana land deal, Tracy. If you forgot about that, Ned's on our back about it. Damn. Listen, here's what's going to happen. I will take care of Edge. You take care of the Montana deal, well, all right? you better take care of it. I will. I don't want any slip-ups. There won't be any slip-ups. More than that, I don't want any tricks. I'm saving all my best tricks for you, baby. Oh, and boy, have I got a good one saved up for you. Do you really? Yeah, I do, baby. Double-cross me and you'll see exactly what it is. told you Mr. Baldwin just left. Well, where did he go? I don't know. You don't know. You're his secretary, and you don't know where your boss went? He didn't say. 
Oh, he didn't say, or you're not saying. Leave it to Scott to hire somebody as deceitful as he is. Mrs. Quartermain, I will be happy to tell Mr. Baldwin that you are here. Oh, no, thank you. I don't trust you to remember. I'm going to leave him a note. Oh, please, don't touch anything on his desk. Don't worry about... Shouldn't you get your little phone? I'll be right back. Don't hurry. <sighs> your disgusting, miserable life. You better call me immediately. Oh. 